<laughs> I tried to craft a mine. <laughs> My game crashed. Hey, I'm Joe. Welcome back to Alien Isolation. There's people here. In the last episode we explored the medical facility and dealt with the alien a whole lot again. And I can hear him now. Okay, we'll head in this vent. Thank God. We got jumped. Looters. We saw it on the security team. Can you get up here? We're trapped. Elevator's out. You're right by systems and synthetic storage. There's all kinds of stuff to fix it. We don't know where to look. Who of our requisitions android? Is he insane? Peterson wants to know if you're fucking insane. Those things have started attacking people. They're friendly unless you do something unauthorized. Talking to an android in the warehouse should be fine. It'll know how to fix the elevator. Okay. Francis out. Asshole should be fine. Well, I'm sure as hell not making new best friends with one of those things. Dude, the aliens dancing, tap dancing up there. Are these people friendly? Because they said if they're not looters, then surely they're friendly, right? We shouldn't have done that back there. I know we're hungry, but man, this feels so wrong. Quiet. I heard something over. Someone's here to get bad real quick. You're not really this stupid, are you? Keep walking. Why? Just keep walking. Why aren't you friendly? I don't get it. We've warned you. Get back. Ha. Ah. The alien just jumped down. That's what you get. I don't understand why we can't work together. If they know the aliens here, why are they just out in the open as well? It feels really stupid. Listen up for movement. Could be anywhere. Craft a Molotov. At least the humans and other organics, but synthetics are resistant. My friend said he saw it. Okay, I, so some people get away. If we that should work it, against the alien, then I guess. Get through this alive. Can they not hear the alien as well? Oh! Um. Where am I supposed to be going? I should need to find a compression cylinder. Hear something. Uh oh.
Report, Smythe, Head of Synthetic Development. I just received schematics for the 120 A8. I don't know how much we paid for our mole. But the Seeks and Board is going to need to shell out a hell of a lot more. I know this seems old tech for YW, but it's beyond anything we're capable of. Our key executive and shareholders won't listen, but we need investment. The company and all of its subsidiaries are light years ahead of us. I've been looking over your report on the Wayland yutani androids and your proposals for improving the working shows. Now, I appreciate the work you put in, but understand we live in different worlds. Yours is full of extrapolations and estimations. Mine has an executive suite and $8,000 suits. Bottom line is, I gotta look after the money, buddy. I hired you because you were the cheapest, not the best. Find a way to bring these costs down, huh? Ransom out. Okay, we've already got three of those. Russell, here's my spiel for the potential clients today. What do you think? Spedding will hang me out to dry if they don't bite. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome to the buzzing heart of the Svespo Synthetic Solution. Next upon your toll will be the Systech Spire and the Apollo Core itself, but first, an example of Android self-governance. When Apollo Synthetics require a little more care than the repair wards can provide, they come here. We believe this is the first rollout of a fully automated synthetic to synthetic medical intervention, no human expertise required, no costly human surgical training, and all data is steamed directly from Apollo, and every incision recorded in its logs. This is the future, gentlemen. Tomorrow, together. Russell, upstairs went to full, want a full rundown of what we've got stacked in component storage. There's something useful in there, some junk. They want value estimates too, Smythe. So we could we could lure the alien in there to kill them all, but I don't see how that would benefit us. As long as we avoid them, they're not going to hurt us. Seeks the journey to colonial space and official history by Sebastian Sieg. A remarkable growth. Sieg and Sun proved to be the backbone of colonial FTL expansion, providing reliable components that could carry humanity deep into space. In so doing, it grew, and by 2066 was running, a vast, running vast manufacturing plants in London, Buenos Aires, Nagasaki, and the lunar Sh Shikard Wargenton frontier. By 2071, the year the Sieg family sold its shares back into the company, its expansion remained exponential. Single-minded rivals looked on with envy as Sieg and Sun became market leaders, manufacturing cars, chemicals, educational equipment and building materials. Towards the end of the last century came a move that would forge our shared future. Sieg and Sun became Siegson. We took on the name our customers had known us by for decades and we turned to face tomorrow together among the stars. Smythe, have you been practicing the script for the VIPs visiting today? We need to impress. Noise from upstairs says they're the last potential bidders for Sebastopol's work and Joe rollout. If they go with Wayland Utani castoffs instead, the jobs Seeks and have allocated for us back on Earth are on the line. Don't screw up. Spreading out. Find a way to open the door to the warehouse. Oh god. Use a requisition to Android to access a component's warehouse.
can attack us though, isn't he? Anything with this? Can't do anything with that. Oh, oh, what? So we need to use this Android. To restore power. And a way to power up the requisitions android. It's a safe here as well. Security access tune upgraded. Oh nice. Okay. Above us, above us, like usual. Oh God, it's horrifying. Okay, so we can restore power up here. Over and over again. Don't stop saving. God, no, you don't. You really don't. Bedding. Now you've fired me, you'll have to descend from your ivory tower to pick up the slack. The guys decommissioning Sylvester will have free access to supplies and storage, but everything will need login. So use the requisitions android. Power him up, let him out of his box, and watch him go. Just like me, huh? By the time you get this, I'll be dead drunk in Gillen's bar. I guess you already know this, but it's been pure hell working for you. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me, Smythe. I just got another message from Spedding about the busted elevator outside the Android Examination Theatre. My guys have got a million things to do right now, so it's not going to be fixed in time for your VIP visit. If Spedding wants to be a priority, then maybe you should stop being a petulant asshole. It's an easy job, off the top of my head I can tell you the parts you need are in component storage. Row 1, Stack B. If you can't find it yourself, ask the requisitions Android, just get off my back, Chief.
How can I help you? I need a compression oh. cylinder. Components warehouse. Row one, stack B. Follow me. Just keep the noise down, okay? Okay, he's friendly. Nice. I mean, for now. I still don't know if he can come in these vents yet. I'm really hoping he can't because it's the one place I actually feel safe. Save. I'm gonna go up and save. Oh, dude. <gasps> I'd I'd rather deal with humans than the alien, so I'm not going to lure him to him, I'm just going to go around. Okay, coast is clear. We can get through this. Oh. The hell was that? Shit, idiots! It, no, absolute what? idiots. Yeah, that's what you get. Why would you shoot someone when there's an alien round? Idiots. Was all right. That's pretty calm, actually. Yeah, I'm all right with that. Pretty good.
Oh my god! The hell? doing? Why are they just standing there? It's so weird. They've just seen an alien kill one of their friends and they're just standing there. Okay, we've got another save point. Can I get someone from Seeks and Synthetics? <laughs> To look at my android, I've just worked a 24 hour shift helping out trauma patients and I'm the dentist. Waits once every one of them moved out of the hospital and no one is telling me anything. If I'm going to be pulling down these kinds of hours, I need some extra help. We've got an android down here with perfectly adequate programming, but he's been gathering dust because apparently the same model started acting up on the other side of the station. What the hell is going on with this place? Get someone down here now before I make an official complaint. Fernandez. Are you guys friendly? I'm going to assume not. Why are they just standing there like two wet farts? Are they glitched? <laughs> this has got to be a bad dream. Man, I don't know what's going on. Low power. Plasma torch required. Yeah, that feels like we're going to have to do a lot of backtracking when we get the plasma torch. Wait, seventh mission. Okay. Not bad. I think we can continue. That didn't take long, actually. Yeah, I think I'll continue for a bit. I sent you a clear directive not to land on station. I told you we didn't hear your message. We understood you would be... Hey. Identify yourself. Ripley. From the Torrens. Relax, kid. What the hell is going on here, Marshal? Where's the security forces? You're looking at them. I've seen the creature. What is it? I don't know. Something brought here by Marlowe, the captain of the Anisadora. The ship that found the flight recorder. Is there anywhere safe left on this station? That creature's running around and the Seeks and Synthetics are less than friendly. Goddamn androids. Ripley. Taylor needs attention. Medical's a no-go. We can't take her there. We have a basic life support unit back at HQ. Then let's go. We need the transit okay. to get to HQ, but it's down. Transit control is upstairs. Samuels says you're an engineer. Go make yourself useful, seeing as you screwed up the trap. Yeah, right. We'll talk about that later, Waits. You protect them while I'm gone. Understood? Ricardo, get a lock on our radio so we can stay in touch. What is that? What is that? Stop it. Oh, 
This place is huge. Gas torch required. What the hell's a gas torch? Someone's in here. Shit. He's, again, is he friendly? I I doubt it. Like, should I just shoot him? Calm down in there, you android fuck. This is every color fucked up. Oh, that was... I went to a lot of trouble to secure this place. God, I hate this place. I'm sure I heard something. Oh, this lift's broken. False alarm, I guess. Hey, I'm not. He's not friendly. Push that bit too I need to do? Enable the transit system's power backups. Oh, okay. So... So what? Okay, here we go. to take this guy out. Someone's in here. I mean, we know we can kill this guy now. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. Let's see if I can do it. Calm down in there, you Android fuck. This turned into a nightmare real quick. Got more bullets that time as well. See, we could do with another stun button, but I don't. You shouldn't be here. Don't have one. Molotovs aren't going to do anything. Even if I use a noisemaker, I don't think it's going to distract him long enough to activate the terminal. Try a flare, maybe? Jesus. It's been 
the music. I need to heal quickly. You're going to hurt yourself. Quickly! Why can't I move? for shit because I'm using a controller yes there we go oh my god all my bullets I thought I would have had to do one of those mini game things again. I guess I could have just activated it. I had some trouble, so it's gonna take me a while to get back. We can wait. Taylor can't. I can catch the next car. Your call. Listen, you crazy bastard, you think that thing gets around in a fucking transit car? You're sitting on an override that'll disconnect the transit from Apollo, so fucking pull it. You can stop all this bullshit just by pulling a lever. You think you're safe with the transit powered down, but we're trapped like rats. For God's sake, help us. Got a heads up for you, jackass. Don't even think about throwing only Sinclair and the Seekers and Security guys. I told them it was you that killed Morrison. If they see you, they'll shoot you on sight. Should have let me join you in your bolt hole. You won't last a week. You're gonna get the gas torch in here? Nice, okay. Gas flame available. God, this takes a while. Oh my God, that takes forever. Can't do that when we're being chased. There we go. Grows it's in Claire. We need supplies. Take what you can from whoever you want. I'll find an area and habitation where we can seal ourselves in and wait for rescue. I've got guys welding vents shut and shutting off elevators planning to make it watertight. There's no room for more people in the sanctuary, but we can make space for their food, meds, water, and guns. If we're gonna get everyone through this alive, there's no room for pity. Hmm. Ripley, 
We heard voices as we left. Watch yourself. <sighs> Something's gonna happen to this transit car, isn't it? It's gonna get blown up or something. What is it? to craft a mine. <laughs> Shit, my game crashed. Okay, let's let's call the transit and then get in the locker. Splitting off. Keep okay. it together, huh? We can get through this. Stop moving. Let's go find Sinclair. No way we should be splitting up. Safety in numbers. Not even sure of that anymore. That thing is unstoppable. Give me one clear shot. I'll stop the fight. Oh come on. Don't make me laugh. Okay, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Not a lot happened, we didn't really encounter the alien much, but it was still tense. That fight with the android was stressful, but those androids always stress me out because they're almost unstoppable. But thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next episode. Be sure to check out the other episodes if you haven't seen them. Bye guys.